Now, your Big Two Weather Authority forecast. We warned you first. Well, good evening, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez here. We've got a lot of weather coming our way, a lot of fall, all coming through West Texas in a very short amount of time, thanks to this large, low-pressure system here out making its way into uh, New Mexico. Now, it's already kicking off a pretty good line of some thunderstorms getting close to our viewing area here in West Texas, but you combine that with a lot of moisture flowing in from the Gulf of Mexico, and we've got a recipe for some very, very strong thunderstorms. In fact, we're already beginning to see some of those thunderstorms take place earlier today here in Odessa and for Midland. We saw some very strong thunderstorms becoming severe thunderstorm warnings. Now, what we're dealing with is a lot of a large line making its way outside of our viewing area, tracking off to the east. But we still do have a couple of storms in the basin making their way through. And south of I-10, we do have a good couple of storms making their way into Reeves County currently. Potentially dealing with a little bit of hail, lots and lots of lightning, and of course a lot of rain falling in a very, very short time. That's good enough to give us this flash flood watch here expiring at Tuesday at 7 a.m. So overnight tonight, we do expect to see even more rainfall. In addition to that, one of our thunderstorms already is a severe thunderstorm with a warning attached to it. This one lasting until 5:45 p.m. today. So a good couple of, a uh, good half an hour or so before that begins to expire. We are looking at at least one inch uh, hail size. And we are looking at some strong, gusting 60 mile per hour winds already with this severe thunderstorm. Already making its way through Glasscock, Midland, Reagan, Upton County, kind of in the southeast corner there of uh, Midland County. Now, for the rest of the day today, we can expect a lot of energy levels to ramp up. We're already seeing temperatures picking up close to our high already, which will be in the low 80s. Wind speeds about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And of course, overnight tonight, that's when we have the best chance here across the basin to see very strong thunderstorms. Again, this low pressure, don't forget about this little guy mixing with all that Gulf moisture flowing into West Texas, still being pushed on into West Texas. Now, as we go on through the day today, we are going to start to see even more thunderstorms developing out to the west. And what we have currently across the basin beginning to intensify before that moves out of our viewing area, still tracking off to the east. By the time we get to around 11 p.m., most of those storms will begin to organize into a pretty strong line, tr still tracking off to the east in the early morning hours, and notice still intensifying as that low pressure passes off to our north. It's really going to kick off a lot of energy, ring out all that moisture that we have in the air being pumped in by the Gulf of Mexico and continue to push on to the east. I do anticipate a lot of flooding coming with this storm. In addition to that, we've also got a good chance to see a lot of hail, a lot of strong winds, potentially breaking windows, maybe snapping tree branches. So we have a lot of serious weather on our hands coming through in the overnight hours. Thankfully, not a very busy time. So if you have a place to be, make sure you stay there. And if you have a place to park your car, I say park it under a structure just to be safe. Now by 6 a.m. most of those thunderstorms will be tracking off to the east outside of our viewing area and finally we'll start to see things clear up by around 10 a.m. The good news once we do see things clear up actually our afternoon tomorrow looking very very clear very nice nice cool temperatures coming our way thanks to all that rain cooled air but we have to get there first. We're going to see a pretty warm day coming our way today a little bit above average 80 degrees was our high temperature yesterday today adding one degree while our Normal high temperature actually drops off by one degree, nowhere near that 100 degree day set in 1979, and that's good news because that would be even more fuel for these very strong thunderstorms. A good slight risk issued by the Storm Prediction Center, which is elevated over marginal risk, which is usually what we deal with here in West Texas. But notice how much area this marginal risk is taking up. Tomorrow, as that tracks off to the east, so too does the severe weather, so that is good news. But to recap, today we have a slight risk, meaning medium damaging hail, medium damaging winds, and potentially a lot of flooding overnight into tomorrow morning. So if you have any alternate routes planned out for your work commute to begin the day tomorrow, I say take advantage of those because we are going to be dealing with uh, a lot of that severe weather. Now, 81 degrees are high today, 77 tomorrow thanks to all that rain, but again, the temperatures only tell part of the story. I think the biggest part is going to be that hail damage, those winds, and that flooding that we'll wake up to tomorrow. So a lot of severe weather headed our way. We're not getting a break. We saw right. it all last weekend uh, and a very busy week ahead as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want everybody to be careful out there. Just on the way to work, I saw like three or four cars that were stranded right. in flood water. So you got to be careful out there. Absolutely. Keep it right here on Big Two. Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez will have you covered. All right, Chase, thank you.